Hey Gemini, it is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do a bonus reading. This will be a bonus reading for the month of January for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. This is general. It will not resonate with all of you guys. So let's see what or who is coming towards you for the month of January, Gemini. Let's see. Let's see what's coming in for Gemini in love for the month of January bonus reading. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. All right, Gemini. So let's see who or what is coming towards you for the month of January in love. Messages for Gemini in love month of January. We have the magician. That's your energy. Three of cups. Page of wands. Good energy. Empress. Wow, Gemini. Ten of Swords, so something that ended is coming back together. Not of Wands. Six of Swords. Hmm. So you guys are manifesting some type of new beginning. Yeah. And look what we got. The Lover's Card, the Hangman, and the Six of Swords. So I definitely love it. It looks like you guys moved away from a situation. Okay, you had to let it go. I feel like with the Six of Swords here, this is you like leaving the past behind, letting go of certain things in a relationship because you have the Hangman. It's like you either went through some type of awakening or it's like you had like some type of epiphany, aha moment. I know the tower is not out here, but we have the lover's card. So the lover's card is you making a choice, you know, and wanting better, realizing that. So moving away from something. And it's like as you're moving away from this situation and you're realizing what it is you want, it's like this person is trying to manifest you guys to be back together or something is finally manifesting. So, say if you walked away from a situation, it's like you walk away and then boom, it just starts manifesting. Because we have the Ten of Swords. This is the ending. This is the end of the relationship. Complete ending. You ended a relationship. You're moving on. It's like for some of you guys, you're like, nope, you betrayed me. You hurt me. I don't even want to be your friend. I'm hurt. I can't believe what you did to me. But it looks like there's going to be a reunion and you guys are coming back together because this is the Empress here. And we have the Magician. Someone's manifesting a brand new beginning. But it's going to be better than it was before for a lot of you guys. This is also new love coming in after some type of ending. Okay? So it's like some of you guys with that six of swords and that knight of wands, you guys are leaving a situation and someone is rushing in. For some of you guys, for a few of you guys, because we have this page of wands, knight of wands, it's like you guys start talking to someone right before the relationship completely ended or you guys just met someone new and you're starting something new with them already. Okay, this person really makes you happy. Things are positive with that person. You're feeling great. It's a fresh start for you. You just got out of something difficult and you're happy. But someone's definitely manifesting a new beginning of love with you. Okay, so definitely love that for you, Gemini. Let's see why this magician is here. Clarify the magician for the sign of Gemini in love for the month of January. Yep, see, look, the Ace of Wands could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be. But look, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Ace of Wands. So, yeah, someone wants to make you an offer. If this is someone that you guys broke up with before, it looks like they're coming back and they want a deeper, like, they want things to be better. Queen of Pentacles, Page of Swords. You don't know it, though. The Page of Swords is letting me know, like, you don't even know, like, like this is information coming in, but you don't even know it. Okay, Page of Swords. It's like, they don't want you to find out. They don't want people to tell you with this Page of Swords. For some of you guys, um, they didn't want you to find out that they were with someone else. Because we have this Empress and we have this Queen of Pentacles. Let's see. Why is this Empress here? But I feel like with this um, Page of Swords and this Queen of Pentacles here, with this Magician Ace of Wands, someone's manifesting a new beginning with you. But you don't know. You don't see it coming. And some of your friends and family might know. With this three of cups, somebody might know. There might be like some surprise engagement or something like that. Or you're going to be out with your friends celebrating and they're going to ask you. You know, like someone's going to tell you, like, I really love you. I want to take things to the next level. Why is this empress here? Clarify the empress for the sign of Gemini. Yep, see, look, king of pentacles. Yep, so, yeah. This, yeah. Someone's manifesting a new beginning with you, but they're coming with an offer. Finally, the offer you've been wanting. King of Pentacles on top of the Empress. Yeah, so you don't even see this coming. Yep, see, like the Magician. This, both of you guys actually been manifesting this. But it, it it took for one of you guys to walk away. Like, you guys needed to walk away. 
from this relationship, from this situation in order for it to manifest the way you wanted it to. But it's like you walked away and now it's finally manifesting and it's coming back. It's more profound this time with that three of cups. So it's like celebrations, happiness. But it's like there was a lot of hurt, a lot of pain with this um, ten of swords. So you guys been through a lot in this relationship. Like you guys been through hell and back. But it's like now this person wants to do right by you. For some of you guys, this person could have been locked up in prison with that Ten of Swords. Um, why is this Ten of Swords here? Yep. See, we have the Justice card reversed. You could have been dealing with a Libra. And there was no justice in this situation because someone could have been locked up. Or this person was just treating you unfairly and couldn't offer and give or was not offering and giving you anything. King of Swords reversed. You could have been dealing with another air sign. Someone that was lying and manipulative. You know, but it's like the Two of Cups, they, they love you. You know, they were full of shit. They love you. King of Swords reversed, Two of Cups. They were manipulative, and now they want to offer and give you something. Now they want to, you know, like I said, they want lo the love to be more profound between you guys. Three of Cups. Yeah. Why is this Three of Cups here? The Chariot. You guys can be dealing with a Cancer. But look what we have next to that. The Queen of Swords. That's you. Okay? This is them offering to you. Queen of Swords, the Chariot, Three of Cups, the Eight of Wands, communication coming in. This person really missed you with this Nine of Wands and the Five of Wands. They went through hell. When you guys separated with from them, whatever, they went through so much. Obstacles, feeling neglected. You weren't communicating with them. Whatever you did, it's like you shut them all the way down. And they felt all of it. Every bit of it with that Nine of Wands and that Five of Wands. And now they want to fix the relationship, Five of Pentacles in reverse. So they want to take it out the code. They realize that you do deserve better with that Ace of Pentacles in reverse. And that Five of Cups in reverse is them wanting to reconcile the relationship. King of Cups was them not showing emotions. Could have been dealing with a Scorpio. You know, this person refused to express their love, their feelings, and emotions. They kept running and hiding away from their true feelings with you. And now you walked away and they're just, they're, they're feeling hopeless. And wanting to manifest all of this back together. Some of you guys could have been dealing with a King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They're in reverse. You know, someone that kept detaching themselves from you. But look what we got, the Queen of Wands. You were like by their side every time. So see how you guys are coming up? You guys are coming up as a King and Queen of Pentacles. You guys can have something strong, stable, practical, balanced. And they're realizing that. You guys are also showing up as a King and Queen of Swords. So it looks like you guys both kind of hurt each other in this relationship. Queen of Swords, you hurt this person, but your hand was still out. The Queen of Swords has her hand out, meaning that you might have said things, you might have hurt them, but you still had your hand out, still trying to work on the relationship. Okay? And the Queen of Wands, you're in the upright. Focus on the future, ready, determined. And they were playing games, King of Swords in reverse, King of Wands in reverse, but they're coming up as a King of Pentacles on the upright. So it's like you guys went through different stages and phases with this person. Because you have the King of Cups reverse, King of Wands reverse, King of Swords reverse. So it was time, there was times when this person wasn't showing and expressing emotions and feelings. When Emery was Emery was resisting the change. I can't even talk. And was resisting the change. We have the King of Swords reverse where this person was trying to be manipulative. Trying to run and control the relationship. And then you have the King of Wands. This person could have lied and cheated on you or just was very detached at times. Okay? Because we, they went from a page to a knight to a king. Of wands, whoever this person was. And then now we have the higher font at the bottom of the deck. Now we need to offer commitment. So this is someone that you guys went through many phases and stages with. The higher font. Yeah, see, they weren't focused on commitment in the past. They they weren't focused on the same thing. They didn't want commitment. Or if you guys were committed or together, it's like they weren't putting the energy and effort into the relationship. And that's why you guys separated. That's why you walked away. Okay? So that is what I have for you, Gemini. That is your bonus reading for January. I love you guys. If you guys want to book a personal reading with me, you guys can do so on my website, fireintuition.com. And I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye, Gemini.